Hello guys, welcome to the next video of this series Python for Beginners. Currently in this series we are exploring data science basics. So let's continue the journey of exploration. For that let's go to our destination folder. So in this journey of exploration we have successfully completed or created the model of tightening data set and save within model.ptl file. Now it's time to simply use this model and make predictions by taking user inputs using user interface. So for that I will be using a famous library which is Streamlit. Streamlit is an online platform which provides developer or machine learning engineers a feature to test their model and also share their models with the world. So how we can host this project and everything I will be discuss in this video. Now let's open this folder in VS Code so that I can explain in this min.py file. So as you can see the folder is open in the VS Code, now let's simply open this main.py file. So few imports are Streamlit has a stick. so make sure you install the Streamlit. The command to install Streamlit is really very very simple, you just have to type pip install Streamlit and the package or the command will be available in this pypi website. So you can simply copy open terminal here by simply clicking here, going to terminal, opening the terminal and simply pasting that command and hitting run button. So in my case the requirement is already satisfied but in your case it will take some time to load. So the terminal has opened now I will simply show the output first and then we will explore the source code. So to run any streamlit file you have to run a specific command. So the command is streamlit run main.py. So this main.py is the name of my file streamlit run is the command. Now let's hit enter button. So first time it will take some time. So this is output of our model. So let's test this model. So class of passenger. The options are premier, executive and economy means first class, second class, third class. So let's keep it premier. Gender will be female because male had higher opportunities of survival. Age of passenger. So let's keep the age as 26. Then the I said you had any sibling spouse, let's say she had two siblings and two parents, means mother and father. And the fare of journey was, so it's premium, so let's give the fare as 56. And checking point was, let's say S, because Southampton had highest priority of surviving. So now click on the split button. The output is the passenger will survive. Now if I simply change it to economic class, make it 6 and let's keep the location as this and I will simply replace it with me. So do you think what will be the output? So let's test it. The passenger will not survive because the passenger is of economic class, the gender is male and the checking point has also changed. The output of today's video will be this. How I created this, let's move back to the VS code and explore it. So I will simply minimize it. Now the imports of this video. So first imports are Streamlit as ST, so this is nickname as you know, importing math, importing pickle. So importing pickle to simply load our model.pkl file, which is this file. I hope you understand it. So this 5 to 6 lines are done, they're simply using header. So Titanic survival prediction, so ST.header. So this ST.header method is available in Streamlit package, which is responsible for creating this beautiful or let's say normal header. You can also add here emojis. After that, I have divided the entire screen in three columns. Call 1, call 1, call 3 by typing the command st.columns and passed here 3. So we divide the column in three parts. So division was done and the what information do you wish to store in these columns? So information what with column 1. So this is the syntax p class. So first input to this file was p class. So I will simply open the Jupyter file in VS Code only. So this is that file, now we simply scroll down to the last part of Jupyter file which is this. So first was p class. So I simply keep the name same, st.selectbox, then type class of passing which is the text and these three categories, premier, executive and economy, 1, 2 and 3. After that 6, so means gender, gender will be male and female, then age, age is equal to number input. This is the output of the data or code. So class of passenger, 3 drop down, gender, 2 drop down and age, a uh, numerical input column. I hope this one is clear to you. Now let's move ahead. So next is column 4 and column 5. So this time I have divided the column or entire screen in two parts. 
which is st dot columns two. So the string gets divided in two parts. So in this two parts, I have to type SIP SP. So SIP SP sibling and spouse, which is this and parch and parch as you can see. And then I simply return st dot number input. So we want the number input here. So I simply return number input sibling, spouse, parent, children. And the output is in front of me, which is this. And after that, I have simply divided the screen two parts only for fair and impact past your number input because we are using number input and written a select box or picking point because embark is a word which is not understandable by you and that's why I simply to me picking point and passes three options of table data set only so this is picking point and you have to cancel any option then after that I have created this predict button by typing command of this if ht dot button predict means if someone clicks on this predict button then what will happen firstly the p class value will be initialized to one Remember this P class is the above P class, which is this. It is capital P and it's small p. So these two variables are different. Keep that in mind. So initially this P class will get initialized to one. But if the user chooses economy as the P class, the P class will be changed to three, which was initially one. And if the user chooses executing, then it will simply replace with two. So P class concept is clear. Then initially then the gender was initialized as zero, which means in the male. But if the user chooses sex as female, then the gender will get replaced to one. After that, age SIP part. So these were all numerical values, and I have simply added a match dot cell, which means the ceiling value. Ceiling is the higher value. It means if I write let's say seven point two five or three six, then it will simply get converted to eight because which is the higher value than seven point three six. So I have written this. So these three inputs are clear to use and also this for it is fair. After that is embark. Embark has three options like a P class. So initially embark or initialized to zero. And if the user choose share both, it was replaced with one because I have simply replaced this option here only. Let me show you. So when I simply replace the values or when I did, let's say encoding categorical columns, I simply replaced m bar here s with 0. So here also it should be replaced with 0. So initially s is 0. And if the user chooses c or which is chair book, the m bar should be replaced with 1 and simply goes to queen start. So if users chooses queen start, the option should be converted to 2, which is king equal to 2. So I have simply replaced the concept here also. Then the all 6 to 7 values or inputs are ready for making prediction. So I have simply created the variable which is the results and simply done model.predict which is the same function that we use here which is uh, this function model.predict and simply passes 7 only which was p class gender age sip sp patch per embark that we normally did here but here we simply pass the variable names because the value is stored in the variables and I have simply created a dictionary like where output is 1 means if the output of this result is 1 then the text will be printed the passenger will survive else the passenger will not survive and I have simply printed output by typing another method which is st.markdown simply passed here f string by double asterisk and simply pass the output of result sum 0 because the output of this result is it will be non by array but that's why I have simply written here 2 d array which is result sum 0 so the first value of the numpy will be go to this output labels if the value will be 1 then it will print the passenger is survived else the passenger is not surveyed. So this was the basic explanation of the entire source code. You can explore this simple package to make the background colorful or you can add any emojis to logos according to the requirement. This is really very basic example in which I just wanted to introduce in Streamlift the hosting partner of every machining engineer. So let's move back to the code. In this video we have simply created a user interface of our model using Streamlift package. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Also, if you face any queries or any doubts while understanding the code or any concept that you are not understood, you can simply message me on Instagram or in comment section below. Also, the source code of today's video is available in your description. You can definitely check out that. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.